Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Race Course, Grantville, Pennsylvania, on Tuesday evening, October the 11th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 tonight, folks, 7.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time. A mile 70 yard test on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, 3 years old and up. Race for a purse of some $32,000. Contenders number 3, Delightful Dana. Number 1, Banker Bailout. Number six, Classic Justice, and number two, Dancing Sparks. Number three, Delightful Dana, takes a class drop of two units this evening as both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this allowance field, racing at or about tonight's distance of 8.3 furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in each of her last five starts with four of those efforts also qualifying as power runs. Number one, Banker Bailout has posted a quartet of power run board hits in her last five, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her last two starts. Jockey Clinton Potts has been in her arms on eight previous occasions, hitting the board in five of those adventures, winning four times en route to a positive 154% return on investment in the process, back tonight for his ninth ride. Race 5 summary, number 3, Delightful Dana, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 1, Banker Bailout, number 6, Classic Justice, and number 2, Dancing Sparks, 3162 in the 5th from Penn National. Bonus long shots, Beulah Park, the race 4, the 9-2 shot, number 7, Akapeshi, takes a class drop of 2 units, nice overall speed with his mild test on the dirt. Finger Lakes Race Course, Upstate New York, Race 7, Number 7, Reading Group, 4 to 1 in the morning line, substantially better speed, 13 Trackmaster units, spring at 6 furlongs on the dirt to the favorite, Number 5, Pawnee Red. So from Penn National on a Tuesday night, even for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.